Hello friends, this is Anya Deva and today's video will be about money, how to create more wealth in your life um, and I will give you a powerful tool, another powerful tool, um, which will allow you to connect to the wealth in yourself and start effortlessly creating the wealth in your reality. Um, going out there and fussing and doing lots of things will be all fruitless unless, as you already know, um, the, your inside, your internal world um, is tuned to wealth, to the rich. And this is what we will be doing today. So the key component on attuning to anything that you want is feelings. You can s say with your mind what you want, but follow the feelings. Feelings are the key to manifestation. If you feel poor inside, you will never be rich. If you feel rich inside, in your heart, you will never be poor. And this is why the rich people getting rich and poor people getting more poor, because the feeling just snowballs and grows in that one direction. If you feel rich, you will behave a certain way. Uh, for example, you will never jeopardize your honor for the sake of money. Or you will never take anything that is not yours just because you know deep in your heart that you always have plenty. Even though you can be struggling momentarily, you will never take what is yours, uh, assuming that you have chosen the path of good. And that's uh, the square number one of the first step that we need to take in deciding what kind of reality we need to create anyway. There are two, three paths, the path of good, evil and chaos and so you have to choose you can choose right now which path are you on in russian the word rich is bogaty bogaty bog is god and so bogaty is the person who is full of god full of good and so all the good comes to that person um, and that is true spirituality when you're spiritual you're balanced and you're full of god and full of abundance on every level um, of your, in every aspect of your life, in your relationships, in your money, um, in your um, personal satisfaction, or doing something that you really love. Uh, I mean, everything really, everything goes well for you when you are wealthy, when you well. English language is also a magical language. Wealthy, you're, you're well on every level. You're, you know, you're healthy, you're wealthy. Um, so the exercise is this. You need to write a hundred feelings and definitions for yourself, what it means to you to be rich. What is wealth to you? But first, write a number in which at which you feel like you're wealthy that number can be completely different for everyone for me for some weird reason it's 2.7 million and for, for some people it will be nothing for some people will be like wow it's a lot for me it's that number it's a number at, at, at which i would start to feel um rich that's enough for me to, be, to feel rich. For some people it's more, and for some people it's less. And so, a hundred definitions. I can give you an example of what I did here in my workbook. So I started with general words. For me, number one, it will be peace, satisfaction, joy, love, beauty, harmony, balance, freedom, flight, inspiration, rainbows ecstatic, um, giving, dream come true. And so first it go, goes like this, general words. And then I start to describe what would I do. I would like uh, dining at the 
finest restaurants, traveling, and the short notice any way I want. So uh, anything that comes to you uh, in terms of the picture that you're painting in your mind, what it is to be rich. And um, after you've done your mind picture, your um, feelings, descriptions, um, also notice the feelings of your body. Like, I feel like butterflies in my heart. I feel ecstatic. I feel um, like tingly feeling, you know? So, so pay attention to what your body, how your body responds. And if the number that you wrote has um, a negative response from your body, like you start to, uh, like the fear comes out, it's like, it's not gonna happen. Um, or if the mind starts to wonder, oh, how is it going to happen? Just keep focusing on what, how it feels, how it feels. And if you notice that at the number that you wrote, your body starts to congest, that means that number is not the right number. See which number for you feels good in your body and good in your heart and then good in your mind. Your body feelings is a huge indicator if you... Uh, lying to yourself about the number at which you feel rich if it, or you um, or it's a true number for you and the only way to find out the truth you listen to uh, all three aspects the body feelings emotions and also your mind whatever feels good in mind might the body might not like and that is a no this is the way to determine the, the correct that's actually a different technique but i'll give it to you here anyways because it's kind of like all in one. And so a hundred, at least a hundred definitions. And why a hundred? It's kind of a magic number uh, at which you define your reality enough with enough specificity so that it start to show up and you start to see it in your physical reality. So you, cre you create your internal reality and then that reality shows up here. Everything that you see here um, is a reflection of your what you already created in there. So if you don't like something, very easy, change here. Again, running around, changing something out there is completely useless. It's not going to work because this is not how you create as God, as the infinite, as one infinite creator. Um, in um, Islam, they have a saying that Allah has 99 names. And so... In my understanding, if you need to summon Allah, you need to call all 99 names and then the Allah comes to you. And to me, it's uh, um, because Allah is everything that we see. God is everything, right? So any aspect that you want to call forth for yourself, uh, you need to name it at least 99, 99 times and then it will show up for you. It will reveal itself to you in your life. Um, and also in Russian, we have another word, dostatochno, dostatochno. Uh, if you translate it literally, it's uh, up to 100 is definitely. So up to, you need to say up to 100 words, like 100 words, so that you can create something in your reality. And that's going to be enough. 100 will be enough words to describe what you in enough specificity to describe what you want to create. This is why this 99 or 100 is the magic number and they're pretty close. So just to be sure, write, you know, a little bit over 100, whatever you can. And after first 30, 30 you might get stuck and you like just empty mind, you just, I don't know what else. I had that, I just had a stupor. Just give it a time sleep on it the next day continue the list and see what else will show up as definitions for what you want to create um, and of course if you still have the old baggage of your abundance blocks the old um, poverty um, mental programming that you still have that will be on your way to creating uh, what you want so clearing that first is very important um, because those 
demonic forces, uh, which is your negative programming, demons are programs, they, they will suck the life energy out of you and they're gonna try to infuse the fear and their, their deep rooted, deep seated belief systems that you got from like the ancestors and the culture and the background that you got. So those has to be cleared. Um, if you're ready to clear those, this is a crucial step then please refer to my course, You the Creator, which is a powerful method in clearing the old programming so that you can um, paint your new reality on a clean canvas. And none of those, of those you know, ugly faces of fear will lurk at your new reality and try to dis destruct you and disturb you. And, uh, uh, turn you the other way, their way again, because this is how they survive. They feed on your energy. If you want to, to learn more about um, how those programs work, you can um, um, watch my videos, um, Demon Slayers in Real Life, or Real Life Demon Slayers. It's on my YouTube channel, Elemental Therapy with Anya Deva. All my courses that I teach are the courses of the 5D spiritual technology, which will help you to um, become the new human and the, to enter that new level of consciousness. So stay tuned, stay with the power and the peace of one infinite creator, which is you.